Have you ever wondered how to turn your ideas into actual sellable print-on-demand stickers on Etsy or Shopify? Today, I'll take you through the magic of Dream AI inside my designs, and in just a few minutes, we'll, take, we'll transform a few ideas into real die-cut, kiss-cut, and even holographic stickers under one product listing. And I'll also show you how to remove the backgrounds in bulk, generate mockups in bulk, and even publish these stickers in bulk at the click of a button, saving you hours of time. Let's dive in. All right, so I'm over here on the My Designs Dream AI page, as you can see in the left-hand menu. So you want to click on Dream AI, and you can just start off with the free My Designs account if you want to follow along. But you come to Dream AI, and this is a very powerful AI module we built into My Designs using Stable Diffusion as the base model, as you can see here, SDXL 1.0. Now we have styles built in. You can choose from Enhance, Anime, Photographic, Digital Art, Comic Book, Fantasy Art, Line Art, Analog Film, Neon Punk, Isometric, Low Poly, etc. There's quite a few styles here. Or just choose none and, do, and kind of confirm a style with your prompt. But the style system makes it easy to generate, you know, graphics that have a coherent look to them. Now, with that being said, I'm not going to go into all the other details, but in my case, I have a one by one aspect ratio, which is perfect for stickers. And I'm generating six images at a time. So as you can see over here, let me look at the prompt. The prompt for these generations that you're seeing on my screen is cute schnauzer, dog portrait, vector illustration. And I went ahead and generated several different prompts here that we can go over so you can see the different uh, images. Um, let's start here. So again, cute schnauzer dog portrait, and then I move up. This is the exact same prompt, only difference is I changed it to a neon punk style. As you can see, it's pretty crazy. Let's keep going. This is an anime style. Uh, you can just see the different looks you can get. This uh, here is a line art style, which gives you more of the, the vectors and uh, drawing illustrations. And speaking of, my, my cocker spaniel just walked in. You know, I thought I'd, I thought I'd grab Coco here just to show you. She's, uh, she's one of my sweet, sweet dogs. So that being said, let me move up because I actually did some cocker spaniels. So just like this, the prompt here is cute Cocker Spaniel dog portrait, circle t-shirt design. So I switched it up a little bit, illustration. You can see you can get some really nice graphics purely from AI from very simple prompts. Again, now I added the sunglasses to this one. It's just, uh, it's pretty, pretty amazing. I'll put Coco down. Um, let's keep going. And here we got some more Schnauzer ones with the sunglasses prompt added. You can see just how easy, and I threw a cat prompt in here. Um, but you can really, just any idea you have, put it as a text prompt in Dream AI, generate, it takes a second, and then you could save them to a collection, which we're gonna do now. So I'm gonna go down to the bottom here. Let's start where we began. We'll go here. So I actually like pretty much all of these. Maybe this one's a little bit too cut off here. I'll go with these five, and I'm gonna actually upscale these by 2X, that's all I need to do. Um, in this case for stickers, because 2040 pixels by 2040 pixels is plenty for stickers for all the sizes, all the way up to six by six inches. So what I'm gonna do is I already have a collection uh, se uh, selected here. You can see it's my AI dog stickers. It's a blank collection, but at the template level, I had a description just to save me time. So I'm gonna store these there. I'll scale them by 2X. And let's go add a few more. Let's see if we want any of these. Maybe we'll save a few, why not? We'll go with these three. Again, store listing. Let's keep going. These ones are, I'll, I'll ignore those for now. This is that low poly style. These are more of the drawings. I'll just kind of avoid those. I don't want to get too many of these, but let's grab a few of these Cocker Spaniels. Go here, 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 and save. Keep going. There's quite a few of these you can select that are pretty good. Some of them look a little weird, but let's, once you find something you like, you just can generate multiple prompts or different generations to generate all the different graphics you like. Let's keep going. Let's see if any of these Grab those three. And some of these ones are quite good. We'll grab all of those, all five of those. And I think I'll save a few more. Let's see. Yeah, these are pretty good. I like this one. I also have a miniature schnauzer. That's why I like to do the Cocker Spaniel and the schnauzer prompts. So grab a few of these and just save those. And I think that's enough. Maybe we'll add up one or two of these cats. Yeah, we'll grab that one as well and this one. We'll add three of them. All right, so now those are all saved to the listings page under this AI dog stickers collection. So if I move over to the listings page, and they're all 2X, upscaled by 2X. So you can see they're all here. There's 26 different listings. So what I wanna do first is actually remove the background on all of these. So I'm gonna select all and go to actions. And then over under image utility, you'll see this remove background feature. 
So I'm gonna select that. And the input file is that main file that contains all of these. I'm actually going to put the output file to just replace it because we don't want to even have the background on these. And now we're queuing up 26 of these different AI generated images to remove the backgrounds. And then from there, we can go generate mockups in bulk too. So you can see that's already, that's already moving fast. It should be done in just a moment. And then we'll go on to the mockups. But while we wait, let's switch the view up. That way we're looking more at the images directly. And I could scroll through these so you can check them out. All the different styles in the background. Our background removal is actually really good. Does a great job for the most part on almost all types of AI generated images. And when that's done, we got one more processing. I will show you how to generate mockups. All right, so that's done. The page refreshed on its own. So you can see here that all these backgrounds are removed and we have a transparent background. What I like to do is actually go and preview all these just to make sure they look good. I'm gonna deselect all, clear all. And then in this case, you can see this has a few lines. I could leave it if I want, but I'm actually gonna delete that one. Uh, this one we can leave probably, let's check the rest of these. There's another page. So let's go to the next page. There's two more here, these look good. So you can see how good, how well the job this background removal tool does. So let me go down, I got this one selected. I'll probably get rid of, I'll just get rid of this one. So I'm gonna go delete listings and just write confirm. And now that leaves us with 24, which is one page total, that's perfect. So I'm gonna select all. Now let's go back to the top. Next, the fun part, I'm gonna sell these as die cut stickers, kiss cut stickers, and um, holographic stickers. We already have all the mockups done for those. So I'm gonna again, go to image, or go to mockups and go to image mockups. Now I'll change the category to stickers. And let's, let's turn on the multiple mockups feature. This is available to Pro and Pro Plus users. It's amazing, it saves you a lot of time. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this mockup by checking it. Grab the die cut sticker mockup, kiss cut sticker mockup. Get a few of these other die cut sticker mockups kind of showing in the kiss cut as well. Let's keep going, we'll add this, maybe the laptop as well, because we can have up to 10 mockups for Etsy. That's probably good. In that case, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different mockups. So now I'm just gonna hit generate and it's going to generate. You can see that's 168 different sticker mockups that we're generating in bulk for 24 different listings. And that concludes, you know, die cut, kiss cut, and um, holographic sticker mockup, which is great. Then after this, I'm gonna actually generate a video mockup for every single one of these listings. But while we wait for that, so let me uh, change the view. You can see I already have a description in here, and I'll share this with you in the description of this vi video. Uh, but at the template level, the reason that auto-populate is I have the description saved here, as you can see. So that way, every time I add designs to this listing, it automatically adds the description too. And you can see we're using an active variable, which is the listing.title. So when I input a title on this listing, then it'll automatically populate it in the description too, which is really powerful. Uh, all right, those mockups are done. So let's just take a look at those. And you see the holographic mockup here, looks quite good. Let's go back up to the top. Let's check out a few of these other ones. It's the die cut sticker mockup. And we've got the Kiss Cut sticker mockup. You can see how fast we just generated really high quality mockups. Uh, this is more of the die cut sticker, which does have a transparent background. So you can see here, someone holding it. And this is the Kiss Cut. So that's great. Another die cut option here. And the last one would be the laptop version of the stickers. Yeah, you can see we just generated like 168 mockups at one, in one go. It's ridiculously powerful. All right, so now with that being said, the next thing I need to do is actually go through, I'm gonna change the main file slot so I can see what it is, but I can double click that and you see it makes it active across the entire collection. I'm gonna also double click the keywords data set and I'm gonna run through real quick and just input the name like a cat, cat, and then uh, cocker spaniel, schnauzer, et cetera. So I'm gonna pause this and resume when it's done. All right, so I went through and just added a very basic keywords. You can see in this case, cat, Let's scroll down schnauzer here. And of course on the cocker spaniels, that way I can actually generate tags and whatnot using our Fraser AI technology. So I'm gonna go ahead and generate titles and tags and just see how, how good of a job that does. So I'm gonna select all, go to Fraser AI. Now I'm gonna point it to that primary keyword field as that's the keyword it's gonna use for each of these listings when it generates the data. The product type, I'm gonna to change to sticker. The and I'm gonna generate the title and the tags and place it in the title field. The tags will be placed in the tags field and hit submit. So let's see how quickly that'll run through for all 24 of these listings. That is done. 
And again, this will get you about 80% of the way done. It does a lot of heavy lifting for you, but I do recommend that you take a little extra time to optimize each of these listings. It'll go a long way on Etsy. But as you can see, these are pretty good um, actual titles and description, or titles and tags. I already have the description here, which is great. So that's how easy you can technically just get like 80% of your work done for generating your listing data. And by the way, Fraser AI is getting better every single month. We're training on more and more best-selling data. So over time, it'll just get better and better at writing you know, titles, tags, and soon we're gonna also be able to write descriptions for you too based off just a keyword. And go to mockups, video mockups, and uncheck the print file. And I'm gonna uncheck all of these and select them in a different order. I'm gonna start with the die cut, and then we'll go kiss cut holographic, and then we'll add the rest of these like this. And what this will do is just create a simple transitional video going through each of your mockups in your listing. That way, if a customer's on the Etsy search page and they come over your listing, they hover over it, it's actually gonna play through the mockups that are on your listing. So I'm gonna put that in mockup eight. Actually, we have a video mockup file slot, so I'll do that, hit submit. And that'll take a second, and when it's done, we'll resume the video. All right, so this video's already done, and to give you a preview of what this looks like, I'll just open one up real quick. You can see how it transitions through each of the mockups, kind of showcasing the different products you're offering. All right, with that being said, let's go back through the publishing process. Go to products, select your shop, select the category, and leave that as accessories. I know that stickers are in here somewhere, but I'll leave it there. Now we'll go pick a product and we'll select the die cut sticker and choose this printed simply as the print partner. I'm gonna generate mockups off because we already have pre-generated everything we want. So let's just select all of these, including the video. You can have up to 11 mockups with a video. So 10 mockups without a video. Um, and just like that. And you can rearrange these mockups how you want them to appear on Etsy. So I'm gonna go die cut, um, kiss cut, and then holographic sticker, and then just leave the rest. So that's good to go. And again, you can choose the canvas system. Make sure the print file looks good. As you can see here, it's perfect. Anyway, we're good to go. Now here's the powerful thing with my designs. Instead of going and publishing these three different times, I can actually go ahead and just add the die cut sticker, the kiss cut sticker, and the holographic sticker to the same listing. So now one listing will contain those three different product options for the customer. And you can do this with our Pro and Pro Plus plans by hitting this little add product button up here. And you'll see other sticker options here. So let's find that kiss cut sticker. In this case, you have two different options. Printful actually has a better price for fulfilling this product. But I'm gonna go with printed simply because that way if someone orders all three stickers, it's going to the same printer and you only pay one shipping cost plus the additional price for shipping. So we don't need to generate additional mockups. I'll turn that off and I'll stick with these. Now I got the kiss cut sticker. Now look how easy this is. Let's go add the holographic sticker right here. Printed simply. And I'm gonna uncheck generate mockups because again, we already have these all generated. So now I have three different stickers on one listing for 24 different listings. So let's go to the next step. You can do that by going to choose prices and we'll input the sticker prices. You can see up here, we got transparent die cut stickers, kiss cut stickers, and holographic die cut stickers. So I'm gonna go back to transparent uh, and we'll just start this. We'll probably just start at 9.99, hit submit. And what I will do also down here is I don't need to put stickers in here because they're all stickers. So you can actually generate or you can actually adjust and customize the size drop down on Etsy, what it's gonna say for the customer. So I'm gonna make that a little more user friendly because everybody knows these are stickers because that's all that's on these listings. So I'm gonna go like that and I could hit apply. Now just transparent die cut stickers, that's perfect. Now kiss cut stickers, I'm gonna go through and do the same thing. We'll get rid of stickers at the front and the parentheses and then just apply. By the way, when you do it here, it applies it to all 24 listings. Same thing for pricing. So I do recommend that. You don't have to do it one by one. And we'll keep the kiss cut stickers at 9.99 too. And then we'll go holographic stickers and we'll adjust the size variant here. Make that more user-friendly, apply, there you go. So now let's also adjust the pricing here. I'm gonna go 10, or let's go 11.99 for the holographic stickers. They're a little bit more expensive. And by the way, you can always adjust each variant size. So if you're six by six a little bit more, then you could change that to let's say 13.99 and apply it to all. So if I go through each of these listings, you can see that it's applied that pricing across the board. All right, so now we'll probably want to do that on each of these as well. You could go through and adjust them, you know, from two by two, three by three, all the way up to six by six, give them different prices really quickly. But I'm going to keep this pretty simple. So we'll just do it with the six by six just to show you what's possible on each of these. And now we're good to go. So essentially, if you felt good about your pricing here and the size variance, how that looks, you can just go preview publish info. 
get a preview of your title, the pricing, um, your description. And again, you can scroll through and see all these listings. It's 24 different listings that we're publishing. So you can just double check everything to make sure it looks good. And if it does, you, again, you can also, also adjust the shop here at the end and then just hit publish. And now we just queued up 24 different listings that each contain the die cut, kiss cut, and holographic sticker all under one listing. And when that's done, I'll show it to you on Etsy. All right, so that's almost done. We've got a few more. And just like that, you get a notification down here saying your job was successfully completed. So I am going to, let's adjust this, go over to the Etsy shop. Again, this is our demo shop. I'm gonna refresh this real quick and go to the listings page. And under drafts, you'll see all 24 of those once that populates. So I'll click this drafts folder. And just like that, we got 24 different stickers that all have you know, multiple options. So I'm gonna publish these and pay the fee for Etsy. And then I'm gonna open one of these up so we can check it out. Let's go view on Etsy. And again, these are print on demand stickers. So when someone purchases one of these stickers, it'll route to my designs. It'll charge you the base cost to print and ship the stickers and then send it off to the printer. And when it's printed and shipped, they'll send the tracking number back to my designs, which we automatically add to the order on Etsy. So it's really passive, hands off. One of the best passive income streams, in my opinion, that you could create is through print on demand. Um, once you get that up and going, it's just fun. Um, in this case, so let's check this listing out. You can roll through the mockups. You see that it has the video mockup. So when you're searching for this on the search page, you'll see that. But let's continue. Let's check all these mockups out. You see everything looks really good. From AI, from an idea to AI generation, to removing backgrounds in bulk, to publishing them as multiple stickers under one listing using a multi-product publishing feature at My Designs. You can see how easy that is. There's a little bit of a learning curve with My Designs, but once you get it, there's not an easier way to do this. Uh, so under the sizes, this is what I want to show you. You can see now we got the transparent die cut sticker options. We got the kiss cut sticker options. And we got the holographic die cut sticker options all within one listing. We did it for 24 listings at the same time and that's less than 20 minutes. Now, once you learn this, you can do it in five minutes, but I just wanted to show you what's possible here. You can see here's our description, but yeah, so that's it. So going from Dream AI to basically publish products for sale in less than 20 minutes. If you found this video uh, useful, let me know by leaving a comment below and I will be creating many more videos, especially around my designs. So your feedback, your suggestions, your comments are welcome. Thank you, I'll see you in the next video.